Vulnerability scans are always a costlier operation, be it a time-consuming operation or a pricey one. We never had open source tools which we can completely rely on when you want to scan some artifacts for any vulnerabilities. Few years ago, Sneak came into the picture and they provided an open source way where you can integrate Sneak directly into your repo and scan your artifacts. Recently, Google announced OSV Scanner. It's a distributed vulnerability scanner for open source projects. Basically, it's a tool using which you can scan your artifacts during your compile time, build time, runtime, etc. You can leverage a CLI based approach and using which you can identify what are the different vulnerabilities and whether you want to proceed with your build or not. So OSV scanner has its own website called OSV dev. We are going to try using the OSV scanner CLI to see how we can scan our artifacts. As the website mentions, it's a distributed vulnerability scanner database for open source. It right now supports almost a majority of the languages. I can see Python, um, NoGet, Maven, Golang, etc. All right. If you scroll down a bit, you can see the different data sources. You can also use it like an API. You can call an API and then trigger the scans, trigger your code scan or your artifact scan, etc. So I'm going to show you uh, using the command line tool. I have installed OSV scanner. You can use brew to install it or you can use uh, GitHub directly download it and do an install. It automatically figures out which machine and then uh, installs it. If you're using Windows, that's the best option. So you can see um, this option here. Now coming back to the CLI, let's look at the version which I have. I have been using it for a while, but uh, I just got time to make a video around it. I've been using it for a while since they launched. It's pretty good in terms of identifying vulnerable uh, artifacts. For example, uh, let's imagine I have a pom.xml here in this uh, folder. So I have a Spring Boot project which has some vulnerability, right? Uh, I just created it for this demo. So I can do a OSV scanner. Um, and I can provide the file version. So I can say something called as lock file and then I can just provide pom.xml. So lock file is either a pom.xml or a package JSON lock, uh, any file which you can leverage as a artifact. It's nothing but your build of materials, uh, the bom file, right? So if you notice here, OSP scanner quickly scanned our artifact, which is present inside pom.xml and it found out that there is a log4j package which has a vulnerability. Now this version, whatever we have is 1.2.14 and looks like it has a vulnerability. Now I can go to the vulnerability database and then search for this particular ID. So I can go here, search for the vulnerability database and then I just can paste this. Okay. Now when I hit enter, I can see that this is a package ID using which I can identify what kind of issue it is. It was okay, no fix is available. So it looks like there is no fix yet uh, for the version, whatever we have, right? And if I show you, if let's say I fix this vulnerability, right? I mean, imagine for now I have fixed this vulnerability. Right now I'll just remove the uh, or command the version, whatever I have used here. So I just added this manually. So I will just command this out just for our demo purpose. I'm removing this particular version from the palm. So if I run the scan again, you can notice that I don't see that vulnerability here. Now imagine I have a Python um, uh, file or a Python project. So what can I do? I can do a requirements.txt and I can hit enter. Now I should be able to see that there are a lot of vulnerabilities uh, with respect to NumPy, Pillow. These are two different packages. I can use this ID again. And then, in fact, the URL also is given directly, or I can even like go and search it in the uh, website here. One good part about Google is they have integrated a lot of uh, tooling. You see that there is a fix available. So you can leverage the CLI itself and using the CLI, you can play around with and integrate it in your CI CD pipelines. Now, coming to the scanner CLI in itself, if I do a help, I can see that there are different versions. Uh, for example, if I want to scan a Docker image, I can do that using the Docker uh, command. I'll show that in a bit. Uh, meanwhile, I showed you the log file using which I we scanned the palm XML. 
we also scan the requirements txt for a python project if you have a build of materials um, uh, sbom you can provide using the sbom option if you want to override any config file you can provide the config option uh, we were looking at the results in a form of a table if you want to automate this and then you want to integrate it into a pipeline obviously you would want a json format so what we can do we can just do a, a scanner and then just say format json and this should automatically return the results in the json format so which is very helpful when you are automating a lot of these tasks there are also different options where you can scan your repository folders for example uh, let's say i want to scan my uh, project uh, so i'm going to say i have a spring boot https example and i want to scan that particular folder so osv scanner automatically goes and figures out what type of project it is and scans the repo we don't have to explicitly mention the pom files and stuff like that osv scanner automatically detects that and then it returns the response i have a lot of images inside my docker repository so if you see here there are tons of images let me pick up one particular version and then we can scan it for example let's pick up the load shedding one i can do a osv scanner hyphen docker and i can provide the version number as well with the load shedding example and notice that this particular image did not find any vulnerability now let's take this particular image as an example if i hit the scan option this has around 178 packages however i suspect there could be a vulnerability so notice that there are tons of vulnerabilities within this particular docker container and i get the same result like how we got for an artifact as well this is one another useful feature which i found because these days all of us are working on containers and using the osv scanner you can scan your container and you can get the results right in your build step itself i have left the links for the osv website in the description below you can go and check it out do try scanning your open source projects and let me know if it was helpful for you or not as always if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video thank you very much